the mountains were absolutely amazing. We would fly down the water line. And it was just gorgeous. You could see glaciers. It was great. I never saw anything like it. Alaska is big. It's cold. It's brutal. It's unforgiving. It's also the place where bad people come to get away. We have a, a lot of cases up here dealing with a lot of wackadoos, and uh, this is one of them. This case is about money, it's about power, it's about greed, it's about sex. Kent Lepink was found lying on his back. Uh, his legs were crossed. The victim in this case was shot three times. And this was a very personal crime. He was fun, he was energetic, he was adventurous, he was full of the old gee whiz. And he said, Mom, I've met the most wonderful girl in the world. I have fallen in love. Her name is Michelle Hughes. Michelle was a stripper who worked at the Alaska Bush Company. And that's where she basically stalked her prey. It was work, and that's all it was. I thought I could do it and save up enough money just for school. Kent proposed to Michelle about a month after he met her, and she accepted. 10 days after that, she got engaged to Scott Hilke. Several months later, John Carlin, the third, came along. She was engaged to him. And she just overwhelmed these men. They were sucked in. Kent Lepink um, ends up dead as a result of his relationship with Michelle. Michelle Hughes went on to become Michelle Linehan. Michelle's such a charming woman. I introduced her to most all of my friends, and all of my friends were so very impressed with her as well. She became a mom, moved to Washington, and she became a woman with a master's degree. I continued to go to school. I was very active in my daughter's school and our church. Married to a doctor with an eight-year-old daughter, somebody who both gave back to the community and was a volunteer in all sorts of organizations. I knew that she had been in Alaska. I, I didn't know there was any trouble in her past. There's no doubt in my mind that John Carlin III and Michelle acted together to kill Kent Lepink. There's no DNA, there's no hard evidence. There's nothing that irrefutably links Michelle or John to the murder of Kent Lepink. That I did not kill Kent Lepink. I can look at right, Mr. Lepping, I did not kill your son. This is the strangest case I've ever worked on. I haven't even heard of a case this weird. Since we aired this story, the whole nature of this case has changed, and so has the outcome, with some stunning new developments. But when it all began, Michelle Lenahan found herself the focus of a complex murder investigation. I just feel like, there's nothing I can do to make people believe me or make people <laughs> like me. It hurts me that, it hurts me that the family would think that I did it. Michelle is a chameleon. She's going to portray to other people what she thinks is in her best interest. The evidence is gonna show that she is a conniving witch. Yeah, well, a witch I might be, but a psychopath, clearly I'm not.